I definitely believe, of course, Africa is the next frontier. And what is more African than Kitenge? <laughs> I think that as Africans, we need to celebrate our culture and our art more and more. I'm glad that you know everyone is going crazy about Kitenge or the print fabrics that is you know that are out there. I dress African every single day. So for me, you know, the Kitenge Fest Festival is something that I'm really looking forward to because I love wearing African prints. I love wearing African designs. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it at this scale and happening in Kenya. Hi, my name is Zawadi Nyongo, and the line that I've launched is Zero by Zawadi. It's an African yoga-inspired social enterprise, and I'm making yoga apparel in African print using the Katanga fabric. I have yoga bags made with kanga, and I have different prints of kanga. And the yoga bags, I used to carry a standard yoga mat, but it can be used for anything. I use it on the beach, I put my towel in it. Um, if I'm going for a picnic, I'll put my blanket in it. I mean, it's a bag, but it's designed and inspired by yoga. And I also have kanga covered journals. And we also have carrier bags, recycled newspaper carrier bags. So you can use a like, gift bags for people or folks who have stores or other designers who need packaging for their products can buy Zero Bazawadi gift bags. I wear other designs and I promote their work. And I think if we promote each other's work, we'll rise. And that's why I think it's really important that we support each other by African, made in Africa, by Kenyan, made in Kenya, support independent designers. Let's say East Africa is really coming up. It's Swahili Fashion Week with the Kitenge Festival, Nairobi Fashion Market, giving you know those of us who are coming up a platform to to do many things, to bring our clothes to the people to see. It's it's growing. Kenya is really getting there. My name is Diana Nikoye and my company is Simbarest Fashion. Simbarest makes uh, chic wear clothes for fashion conscious women, just like myself. Yeah, I work with African fabric, I work with bazaar, I work with kitenge, I work with lesso. I work with any fabric that a client wants me to work with, but basically I like the African fabric. When people come to the Kitenge Festival and they come to the Simarez Fashion Store, they should expect to find uh, African blazers, lesser skirts, Kitenge skirts, Kitenge blazers. They should expect to find shoes, hats, and purses. These this are new, new additions to my collection. And so many other you know, funky African attire for them to buy and place their orders. So it's going to be fun. They should come. They should come specifically to my time. <laughs> When I remember when I was growing up, you know, you'd hardly see um, a teenager or a young lady wearing um, African kitenge um, garb. It, it, it's, it's so indigenous, so African, and you know, I, I actually, uh, why, why I love that we're involved in this is because we're all about Kenya and Africa. Uh, hi, I'm Susie Wakabi. I'm the founder of Susie Beauty uh, Cosmetics. Uh, which is actually the first Kenyan cosmetics line. I develop and uh, design them locally. It is all my design for us, Kenyan and African women. Well, we will be doing the makeup for the shows so on the models, so that, that you know at least we can showcase our work with that, and you can see what product actually looks like on. Um, the beautiful models, as well as we will have a display to sell product to people who are you know, coming to visit the festival. And we, we, will, we will be doing makeup testing, you'll be able to get, uh, you know, get your right shades, we will have all our testers there and product to sell, so make sure you come to our stand. So I really hope that people are going to come out to the Kitenge Festival and shop, not just look, Yes, it will be a great time, there will be great music, it will be a great vibe, but I hope people are coming with money to spend. As, as a young fashion designer and a fashion enthusiast in Kenya, I'd like to thank Grace Makosewe for this Kitenge festival. I mean, it has taken a lot. It has taken a lot for her to just bring this concept together and bring it to life. And I think more people should be doing it, or more partnerships should be coming up to have such events. Big big up to my girl Gracie Makosewe and Nairobi VIP, uh, fellow sponsors Village Market, Capital FM. So excited to be, you know, involved with such great people doing such great things. I really invite all Kenyans out there, um, people who are living in Kenya, who are excited about African prints and design, to come out to the Kitenge Festival next Saturday, October 20th.
from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's gonna be at the village market. The entrance is actually free. So you can come on a Saturday, look at all the clothes and the fabrics that you want to see. Let's make Kenya fabulous. <laughs>